James, Russell Wilson has the Steelers looking different than they've looked, I would suggest, in three to four years now yeah. offensively. What is the Steelers' ceiling with Russ? Before I answer this, <laughs> I want to ask all y'all a question. Okay. Please do, I sir. like this. Um, what's the ceiling for the Ravens? Super Bowl. Okay. What's the ceiling for the Texans? Super Bowl. Super Bowl. How about Buffalo? Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. Better be. I believe the Steelers can beat all them teams. Wow. I do. I believe T.J. Watt, the Steelers defense, Coach Tom, the Russell Wilson under center can beat all them teams. Mm -hmm. So if we say in Super Bowl for them, we should be saying Super Bowl for Russell Wilson and, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mm -hmm. Silly-wise. They went to the playoffs last year with bad, bad, bad quarterback play and a good defense and ran into Josh Allen and just did not have no answers because the quarterback was absolutely garbage. Mm -hmm. Right now you get Russell in, Wilson in there. You're running the ball better. You're throwing the ball better. Right. The defense is playing at a high rate. I look at the Ravens, Texans, Bills, Steelers. I put them all in the same boat. Teams that I feel like can compete for a championship with solid quarterbacks under center. Russell Wilson is playing really good football right now. We know what the defense is. So the ceiling for them is Super Bowl. I'm not saying they can win it, but the, they, they have an opportunity to get to the Super Bowl. Right. They can beat the Ravens. They can beat the Texans. They can beat the Bills. None of us will be surprised if they win them games. Mm -hmm. So for the Pittsburgh Steelers, the ceiling for me is a Super Bowl. But here's Bowl. the problem, James. You mentioned the Texans, Shady. I heard him mention the, the Bills, Chase. Yeah, I heard him Ravens. mention the Ravens. One team but he didn't, didn't mention. mention. Yeah. He didn't yeah. mention the, yeah. the Chiefs. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, I lead them yeah, out yeah. of We don't need to talk. <laughs> but <laughs> why? in effort to get to the AFC Super Bowl, you have yes. to be. Because yeah. that's my answer, no Shady. Doubt. My answer is. The Steelers' ceiling is the AFC Championship mm -hmm. game. Same logic as James Jones. Mm -hmm. I don't know. When I punched in two plus two, I got four. He got five and a half. I don't mm -hmm. get it. But same logic, <laughs> right? You can beat the Bills. You can beat the Texans. They can beat all those teams. To me, Shady, I think that the Steelers can get to an AFC Championship game mm -hmm. for all of the brilliant reasons James just said. Would you at home be surprised if the Steelers beat the Bills? No. Texans, no. I wouldn't be surprised by any of those things. I think they will hit their head on the ceiling, likely 2-5 no, in that championship. I, I like the way they're going. That's why I was saying all year, let Russ get a chance. You said right? that. Because he can yeah. elevate this offense. Yes, yes. I'm right a lot, though, guys. You know what I'm saying? You said that. I'm right a lot, though. Uh, Y'all need to call. Call me. I got y'all. <laughs> but I want to say this. Y'all keep talking about, like, AFC Championship game. You talking about the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Which I don't know. They're drinking that Russ juice. You no, know, that coffee got going. I don't know what's going on with that. But <laughs> you know the last time they won a playoff game? Do y'all even know? 2017. Uh, Chiefs. 2016. 16. Come on, man. Like that's that's a long time that ago game? for real. Football year is long. So let's just let's just get a win. I think they can get a win in the playoffs. I, I would say up to the divisional round. I can see that for the Steelers. Really? Yeah, because I mean, and then you get there, anything's possible, yeah. right? But to say they're gonna win that game, I, I can't say that. Like you saying if they beat the Bills and play, I'll be surprised. Yeah, I'll be surprised. You play against Josh Allen and, and the Bills who've been to these type of games in the playoffs. Who every year, no matter who the coach is, who the players are, who the wide receivers are, they should be in the playoffs. That's yeah. how we look at the Bills. So I can't put the Bills in the same category as the Steelers. Now, anything is possible in football, right? No Other than the Chiefs, I mean, I feel like the Chiefs is over here, yeah. and everybody else is yeah. still trying to figure it out. So I'll just say the divisional round for the Steelers, and then who knows after that? Because they have really good defense. They play really good on special teams. That's another thing we're not talking about. They're good football. For so awesome. many years, they've been great on special yes, teams. Yes. I just got to actually see it, right? And I think Russ gets better with time. So that might be a possibility, but to go to the Super Bowl is wow. You two are team. drinking the Russ juice this morning. I'm drinking the Tomlin juice. I'm, I'm drinking TJ Watt juice. I got it. I'm juice. drinking the Shady juice. I, I agree. Like, they're going to win a playoff game. They'll probably get to the playoffs. Like, let's be real. I'm not yeah. sure they can get past that because they haven't played anyone. Look at their last three wins. The Raiders, the Jets, and the Giants. We talk a lot on the show about equity, right? Mm -hmm. And those teams, you should beat those teams. That's true, true. You should be 6-2. and two. Look at their next three, though. Commanders, Ravens, and a Browns team that beat the Ravens in division. Yeah. You're going to learn a lot more about them. My ceiling might rise after that, but I'm just not a believer fully yet. That defense was a little leaky yesterday. I agree the special team showed up. And – Let's be real. Like, Russ is a better player right now than Justin Fields. He is taking that offense to a level they haven't seen since, like, Arthur Smith was a coordinator in the Titans when they were running the football. The pass game down the field has opened up the run game for, for Russ. So, they're offensively, they look good. It looks like they have the first guy since Ben Roethlisberger to actually mm -hmm. play good quarterback yeah. in Pittsburgh. But they haven't. They haven't beat and, anyone. So, and if the Raiders, line, Jets, if the line and play a little better, though, that'd be even better. If the line, if the line, yeah. offensive line yeah. plays this a tad better for Russ, yeah. he might even cook even more. But but not only that, though, 
I'm I'm not a believer that Josh Allen's about to go up and down the field in, on the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. Daniel right? Jones did. We know Lamar, we know, but they did score 16 points though. Mm-hmm. We know Lamar Jackson ain't. Oh, Lamar Jackson is two and four in his career against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Four TDs, seven interceptions, sacked 20 times. Jesus. That's Lamar against the Pittsburgh. Hold on, Steelers. say that again, bro. Lamar Jackson is two and four in his career versus the Steelers. Right. Right. Four right. TDs, seven interceptions, sacked 20 times in his career versus oh, the Steelers. Man. Did they see him last year? Weeks. I think they swept him last year, right? So they they gonna play they gonna play defense. I'm definitely not scared of C.J. Stroud going up and down the field on them now, especially Diggs is out with an ACL. Yeah, you don't coming, you yeah. don't Nico coming back, but you don't know how that's gonna look. Mm-hmm. So they might struggle a little bit. But even with Diggs, they play defense. That's that, that's why they was in the playoffs last year and the year before. They play right. defense. So for me, I, I mean, you got a quarterback now. The Pittsburgh Steelers have just as good of chance as all these other why teams. You, why are you so confident like that with that Josh Allen like take? You was just super confident like that. Like, <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm, I'm confident in the Steelers defense because that's all they've shown us, I watched Josh play against the Steelers in, pl- in the playoffs, and, and Stephon ain't go crazy. Mm-hmm. Josh went crazy. Yeah, but they also didn't have a quarterback, though. That's what okay. I'm saying. Okay. They was on the field all game. I remember that playoff game clear as day. They was on well, field all game. I'll just say this, though. If the Steelers, and no T.J. Watt. If the Steelers played the Bills... I think that we all safely would say the Bills is going to win that game. Yep. I don't know. If I, I would say, say it, but you say it safely. I don't. Like that's one of them we'll, games. We'll see. You you hit me and I'd be like, ah, Shady, I wouldn't touch it. Like that's one of them games like betting where it's yeah. like, you know what I'm saying, Shady, my dog. We talk every now and then. We we've been in the casino before a couple of times. He'll hit me, hey, Ach, what you think about this? Ach, what you think about that? Sometimes I'm like, yeah, Shady, that's safe. Mm-hmm. Da, da, da. Some games I take Shady back. I wouldn't touch it. Yeah. Do what you want to do. I wouldn't touch it. The Steelers, Texans, Steelers, Bills, Steelers, Ravens. Those are all teams and games. I'm like. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Shady, I, I can see T.J. Watt having two sacks, two forced fumbles. Like, if I, you can, that's what I don't like, though. See, now I'm turned up now. Turn it up, right? Turn it up, because, because like, like, we talking like Josh Allen. It ain't Josh Allen. Yeah, you ain't talking you like keep, No, y'all keep talking about uh, uh, Watt. Yes, Watt's sir. a beast. Yeah. His armor, he's a he's, he's phenomenal Incredible. player. I watch him take over games. That's for him. Yeah. yeah. Russ, I think Russ is really good right now, oh, for no. sure. They're running, they're, running, they're running the ball a little bit better, right? I like what they're doing, but... We're not going to talk about Josh Allen, who he is. Josh Allen, legit. I can't sit up here and give all these other dudes praises mm-hmm. and don't give Josh yeah, of course. his. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't sound like, don't say of course. But I'm saying like that. Yeah. TJ Watt is, is nice. just as good at what he's better, actually, at what he does Ooh. than every quarterback is, is what they do, not named Patrick Mahomes. Mm. TJ right now. No, hold on, hold up, hold on. TJ on the, other, on, the, on the other side, though, he got a dog on the other side. Yes, he does. Okay. Real quick, it's hard, and I'm a running back, so I know this like firsthand. When you got a superstar um, edge rusher, we game plan for him. We got sure, a chip, we got loads of things. They got two of them. When you got two, though, <laughs> like it makes a lot. It's not comparable. T.J. Watt is walking into the Hall of Fame. T.J. Watt, so, he's no, the no. second fastest player to 100 sacks, Andy. We not, 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 this, we not, not, this not named, uh, uh, not Bruce Smith. Bro. Maybe not named Reggie White. I mean, T.J. T.J. Watt, to me, is the best defensive player in the league. So yeah. I'm not saying nothing about yeah. him. But what I'm saying is, yo, the same way you need to praise him because yeah, he deserves it. Yes. You, need, you better no, no, praise no, 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 him. But 17 is the same this way. This has nothing to do with Josh. Josh is phenomenal. Josh might win MVP this year. This has nothing to do with him. I'm just like saying does, the way James. the Steelers are built, I wouldn't be surprised if they beat Josh. Chase. I wouldn't be surprised if Josh beat them. Well, I'm just saying they are built the right way to compete with these teams, and I wouldn't be surprised if they won. Chase, you said something I found most interesting about four minutes ago. You were like, I just am not – they haven't beat anybody, and you're right. Which led me to asking the question to myself on the way into work, just bringing you all into how mm. these shows get produced. I'm like – Yo, are the Steelers really that good? Like, are they actually yeah, they that good? good. good. I know they're good, but, like, are they that good? I mean, I, I think they are. And, and, look, we know what they are defensively. Yeah. You just said it, TJ Watt, stra- uh, sack, strip, sack, all that stuff. Changed the game. Yeah. Won the game for them last night. We know what their special teams is. Calvin Austin, to the crib, had a, had a touchdown catch, too. What I'm most interested in is where can Russell take this team? And I want to show you some film because Russ has been the best deep ball thrower in the NFL since 2012. We got three plays to show you right here. It's a simple double post with a deep cross. Russ is going to look left to the deep cross. He comes back to the alert go ball. He goes back to Van Jefferson, puts this where only the receiver can catch it. Okay, here you go. You got a cover one concept. You broke this down on Twitter last night. You bring the tight end in. You get four hands on yeah. Brian Burns. Great You pass protect rushing. it first, and then you're going to throw this amazing corner out to Calvin Austin, who balled out. He's already starting to release the football, and Calvin Austin's not looking. He cannot throw this ball any job, better. Russ. Calvin Great Austin job. keeps this 
corner high. Uh, and then, honestly, throw. my favorite throw of the game, and it's vintage Arthur Smith offense. It's under center play action and slot. Look at that play action fake. The linebackers suck up. And then you got George Pickens on a pile on route. He throws this before he's out of the break and literally that ends guy, up right it. in his hands. That is a This is what the Steelers' offense dot. was that's missing it. without uh, Russell Wilson. Yeah in the quarterback position, and since 2012, he's first in every major category in deep ball throws. That's what they do, and it opens up the run game, too. Yeah. So you helping me in Acho's case. I appreciate you showing that tape out there. <laughs> but yeah. uh, we keep on going back to schedule. Like, I, I really hate when we go back to schedule because we see a lot of good teams lose, right? We just seen the best team we thought was playing the hottest lose to the Cleveland Browns. That's a divisional game. You know how that is. We've seen them lose to the Raiders. You, you know what I'm saying? So you you got to play who's out there. We can't just keep going off schedule. I mean, this look, is a good you're gonna football learn a lot about team. So wait, man. so wait. I, no, they are a good team, but yeah. you, you don't think that matters who, who you – that matters who you play. It matters who you beat. Yeah, who, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you I'm can't saying, walk – we can't – just because you've beaten all these teams that might not have good records, that's who you play. It's a lot of teams know, losing to them teams. I know, but if, if I'm watching teams that beat on good teams and teams that beat on bad teams, like, yeah. we can't look at them at the it's, same. It's, right? To me, it's Raiders, how you look, Jets, though. Giants. If you if you winning it with your formula, it's, it's how you look. I, here's why I agree with Shady because I looked. You can look real good versus bad players, so uh, it is how you look. But I want you to look good versus good teams too. Yeah. You anybody can look good versus a bad team. You know what I mean? Like you played a job. You played. What did Sean Payton said it best? Yep. He says he's a, he's a bad Sean team Payton beat the played. Panthers yeah. uh, this past better. weekend. He's the head coach, Sean Payton, obviously for the Denver Broncos. His defense. <laughs> held the Panthers to 14 points. Sean Payton got to the mic. We know him. You played yeah. for him. Sean Payton said, the Panthers aren't a good offense. No, so at all. He said, not, he said, that's not a good offense we just played. I expected more from my and defense. And we're going to see more better offense. Exactly. We didn't play well. I kind of submit to that authority, yeah. James, of like, yes, it's how you look, but it's also how you look versus who you play. But what I'm saying is, is you still have to win the game. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. Teams that win it. it's, a thousand percent. It's teams that we speak highly of that we think are going far that lose to bad teams. Yeah, that's this dude. These teams I mean, are six what, and two, like they winning. I know, but all I'm saying is like, so there's certain teams I'm gonna play that I'm gonna see in the playoffs, right? Or we potentially see in the playoffs. There's other yeah. teams, like, okay, they not going nowhere. You're gonna and, see and, and, and another thing that's real, I feel like uh, certain teams, because I've been on good teams that do this. We play to the level of competition, right? Yeah, if we got to yeah. beat a team at 75%, we're going to play at 81%. Yep. We know we got this, uh, the Chiefs coming in town, the Patriots back in the day. Yo, whole week we locked in. Yeah. We all been around that, so that does matter. I just, I don't discredit anybody that's beating bad teams. All, all I'm saying is that I'd rather take a team that's beating on good teams compared to teams beating on bad teams. Well, be, speaking of who the Steelers beat, the last time they lost a game, it was actually to the Dallas Cowboys. What up, YouTube family? Welcome to the facility. Thanks for watching, and you better be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to get more highlights from the show and all of our exclusive content.